Good afternoon team. We have an issue in Thailand. The labor laws have changed and we need to come up with a plan before we suffer from the repercussions of the Thai government. One of these new laws has created at least a minimum of a new wage requirements along with other compliances. What should we do, Julia? We should just establish a minimum wage bracket to meet their guidelines. It's common sense to me. I like your direction of common sense, although it won't be that easy. We don't know the other requirements yet. We need to do some digging to find what is needed financially. We will adhere to these new rules. However, we must speak to Gregory Westbrook, the financial manager, about the issues at hand. Hello, Mr. Westbrook. Julia and I are here to discuss the new Thai labor laws and what options would be smart for our company. I also want to make sure our globalization is stable. Hello, ladies. I'm glad you brought this to my attention. We will solve this right now. Please elaborate on the issue at hand. As Sunia said, we want to try to keep the flow of goods and services, capital, and knowledge across country borders intact. We need to motivate our Thai employees during these changes of pay, work hours, and benefits. That way we'll retain them, and they will not go looking for another job. Yes, Julia, you are spot on. We will need to retain those employees. I will put together a pay incentive for those who have been with us for the last five years or longer. This will not only be for the Thai branch. We will need to make sure this incentive is given to every non-management employee who has been with us for five or more years. That is a wonderful idea to help retain our Thai employees and to help motivate the rest of our company. Sunia, what requirements do we need to fulfill these new laws? I have done some research on what these new requirements are, and there are three of them. They are pay increases, benefits, and promotion opportunities. The incentive will cover the second requirement. The pay increase will be $2 an hour for everyone at the Thai branch. Management will be $10 an hour. For promotion opportunities, we will allow employees who want to move up the ladder in the company to have a form to turn in and if chosen will be graded an interview. This new rule will also be company-wide. This way when we are ready to expand we have the personal to operate our new hotels. What do you think about this Julia? I think this is a great way to meet all the demands of the new Thai labor laws and expand our company as a whole. I as the CEO of Paradise Corporation hereby approve these new policies and adjustments to our compensation plan. Gregory, I want this in action immediately. So when Sunya and the rest of our managers return to their hotels, they can spread the good news of what is going on in the company. I'll get my team on it right away, Julia. Sunya and I hope your employees will be very happy with these new changes. They will be very excited. Thank you for the raise and all you do for us. It's, it's our, our pleasure. pleasure. Let's us leave Gregory so he can get started. This meeting is now adjourned.